All of us have gotten lost. Perhaps it happened when you tried a new route, drove at night, or visited a foreign country. The experience was undoubtedly frustrating, but one that hopefully was resolved quickly and did not otherwise impact your life. For some people, however, getting lost is a lifelong daily experience, even in the most familiar of surroundings, such as the neighborhoods where they live, the building where they work, and sometimes even inside their own homes. These individuals are now diagnosed with Developmental Topographical Disorientation, or DTD. People with DTD describe experiences of getting lost in familiar surroundings from childhood. Such a deficit is present despite otherwise well-developed general cognitive functions and the absence of any brain injury or neurological disorder. In many cases, the condition is inherited, suggesting that a genetic mutation might have affected the proper development of topographical orientation skills. Individuals with DTD get lost frequently, not because they do not pay attention or do not remember things. In most cases, they get lost because they are not able to form an accurate mental map of the environment and its landmarks, making it difficult to go from one place to another something that scientists refer to as a cognitive map and that is easy to do for most people. From a neurological perspective, the inability to orient in individuals with DTD is suggested to be related to an impaired communication between different brain regions that are known to be important for spatial orientation and navigation. DTD refers to a disability that must not be confounded with a simple, poor sense of direction. In fact, Many individuals can get lost in complex surroundings, such as big shopping malls, extensive underground parking lots, and places where visibility may be limited. Whether or not a person gets lost under these circumstances reflects natural variability in topographical orientation skills. However, even those with a poor sense of direction can overcome these difficulties with longer exposures to a given environment. In contrast, people with DTD get lost in places where they have spent most of their lives and navigate daily. To learn more about DTD, please visit www.gettinglost.ca.